This week on Tech Stuff Tuesday, amplifier efficiency, how much current draw it takes to make a thousand watts, and what you gain from additional voltage into an amplifier. So to kick this off, we're going to note that we're going to use a thousand watts output as a point of reference. Doesn't matter what amp is doing it, 1000 watts is the output target. Amplifiers are not 100% efficient. That being said, you have taken into consideration power that is lost from heat. And that's the efficiency of the amplifier. So I've got three different points that we're going to look at. 85%, 75%, and 65%. 85% is generally going to be around the efficiency of a high quality class D amplifier. 75 will be your efficiency on a cheaper Class D amplifier, or even sometimes 65%, as I've seen with a few cheap amps. And then 65% is also gonna be a roundabout uh, spot for a Class AB amplifier. So to get 1,000 watts out, we have to divide 1,000 watts by 85% to get the amount of power it's going to take uh, to get that output. So for 85%, that is 1176 watts that's input wattage wattage is voltage times current 75 percent we're looking at 1333 watts of input power and 65 percent is going to be 1,538 watts. And these are all rounded um, to the nearest watt, just to make it simple math here. So you can tell there's a large difference. There's uh, 350 or so watts difference between 85% and 65% just to make that same 1,000 watts out. So now that we have those numbers, uh, and we're using Ohm's Law again here to find out how much current draw that we're going to have in these given spots. 1176 watts divided by 11.6 volts. And 11.6 volts is not desirable. But if you don't have sufficient electrical, you may encounter 11.6. So 1176 watts of input power, 11.6 volts, that's going to be 100 and one amps. 12.6, 93 amps. 13.6, 86 amps. And 14.6, 81 amps. So there's a substantial difference happening here at the same efficiency depending on voltage. You're talking about 20 less amps to make the same amount of power between 11.6 and 14.6. You're talking about 20%. So 75% uh, amplifier efficiency, 1,333, a poor three, but 1,333 watts of input, 11.6 volts, 115 amps, 12.6, 106 amps, 13.6, 98 amps, and 14.6, 91 amps. 10% difference in efficiency, you can see the larger numbers. It starts adding up quickly. 65% efficiency. 1,538 watts of input power, 11.6 volts, 133 amps, 12.6, 122 amps, 13.6, 113 amps, and 14.6. 105 amps and all these again are rounded to the nearest amp to make this easy. So you can see the difference here in the efficiency of the amplifier 
between 65% and 85%. So a good quality class D amplifier like our Sundown line or a 65% like I've seen with Audio Pipe and some other cheap ones. You're talking about 24 amps difference at 14.6 volts to make that same 1000 watts of output. Even at 11.6 volts, which again, not very good. 133 amps or 101 amps. I'm stressing the point of having a good electrical system. Another point that we'll look at here is if you have 14.6 volts, it takes less amperage to make the same output power. However, since we draw more power at a lower voltage to make that same power, if you can't support it to where you already have low voltage, it's a downward spiral, as you might call it. More draw on your already insufficient electrical keeps going lower and lower and lower and lower, and you're eventually not gonna get that 1000 watts out at all. So looking at this, obviously it makes sense to have higher voltage because you have less current demands. Um, this would be around your regular battery power. Maybe your alternator is completely depleted and you're back in battery power. Here is very typical for in-car. This would be a phenomenal electrical system. You have plenty of alternator. Uh, your alternator could more or less power the entire system. It would be at 14.6 and you're not really using much in your battery capacity. Or if you have lithium, it's going to rest higher in that 13.6, 13.8. Um, or caps uh, will rest at the same voltage that you put in them. So you could have 14.6, 13.6 with caps most definitely, but I can tell there is a benefit to having higher voltage, not just from the standpoint of you can potentially make more power because there is a point where the amplifier will not do anything more from a given current and you require more, more voltage uh, to make more power, uh, but also it's going to run a lot safer. Um, you can get away with using not as good of wire if that's what it came down to. Your alternator output doesn't have to be as high uh, when you have a higher voltage, when you have a less efficient amplifier. When you have a stronger electrical with a higher voltage, it draws less current. So your demands overall on your electrical are going to be less. Uh, so that is a good reason to have a high output alternator that's very good. But also another reason, you don't need as much alternator with a high efficient amplifier. So even though you're looking at this cheap amp over here, they say, well, this cheap power, you know, it makes the watts. If it's 65% efficient, it's going to actually draw more current than the 85%. So you have to spend more money on your electrical to support the cheaper amp, which means that cheap amp isn't cheap anymore. You get a better quality amp that's going to sound better and it requires less electrical to do that. And you may not have room for that electrical either. Spend the money on the higher efficiency amplifier and it's gonna be worth it in the end because you're saving on electrical which saves you space and saves you money. And remember, these calculations are based off of 1000 watts. For every 1000 watts, you can multiply that number. So 2000 watts, 210 amps versus 160 Two amps and that's at 14.6 volts. If you go into the lower voltage that number goes up even higher. If you're talking about 4,000 watts or 5,000 watts or 6,000 watts you have to take into account not just the sub amp but also the mid and high amp. That is additional power that is still being used. So add up your entire system and you can multiply these numbers based on voltage and efficiency and see exactly how much current draw you can really have. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification every Tuesday when we put up a new video. If you have any suggestions, comment below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There are links below for the shop where you can support the channel as well as on Patreon. For all of your power needs, we have excess power and Sundown Audio uh, for wire batteries, caps, all that stuff. We also have the full line of Sundown Audio products as well as Audio Control and EMF Audio Labs. And I'll see you again in another Tech Stuff Tuesday.